I ever taught about money? That's a really good question. When I was in high school, I wish I would have been taught the things I really needed to know about money. You know, I never learned the basic things, like what I needed to know about finances for my day-to-day -day life. That was the checkbook? Good luck with that. The real cost of college? I could have used some advice about that. I thought I knew what a car would cost me, but I never realized all the hidden costs and expenses. Man, did I learn the hard way. Why couldn't we have just talked about it? Like, in class, you know? My dad says I need to know about credit. Like what? When polled, the average adult will tell you they never learned the simple basics of money when they were in school. It just wasn't talked about. We never really talked about money in school. I don't get it. Why couldn't they have talked to us about finances? Talked about how to get a handle on our future? All I can say is when I was in high school, they should have just talked about money. Talking Money. It's a video series that teaches what you need to know about money. It's called financial literacy, and you'll need to understand it to meet the financial challenges that will come up throughout your life. The danger of not teaching financial literacy is having a generation of kids out there that don't know how to deal with money. Teaching kids about how money works is what's really going to empower them to win the game of life. Anyone who wants to get a better handle on their financial goals should be talking money. It reminds me of that song. <laughs> There's expenses everywhere you look. Don't forget about your ride. Got to track your bucks right by the book. It's enough to make you cry. Talking money, let's make our lives easy. Yeehaw! Cause money in the bank from what you earn is better than a money tree. Talking Money is a new educational video series that will provide the tools to learn everything you need to know about your finances. Blending Common Core State Math Standards and National Standards for Financial Literacy with Real Life Situations. I've always said, Yay! you shouldn't be afraid to talk about money. Yeah, my money is always telling me goodbye. Uh, George? George? <clears throat> Martha, I'm home. Sorry, couldn't resist. Basically, everyone should know the value of a dollar. And that, my fellow Americans, is talking money. I can't believe how expensive my car insurance is. Yeah, so listen to this. I just spent 9,200 bucks on this used car. You know, I saved up all year and then my parents even helped out. So when I was driving home in my new sweet ride, I found out that I needed new tires. Did you know that they're 125 bucks a piece? Hey, not only tires, but you have insurance. You have oil changes. And you got a bumpy ride here. It must be the struts or something. And gas. Have you looked at the pumps lately? I'm filling up like four times a month. Don't remind me. I just shelled out 43 bucks on a tank of gas. You know, on top of my monthly car payment, I spend about half of what I make at work just on this car alone. Uh-oh. What? What are you looking at? Oh, I don't even want to know. I got this, boys. Getting that shiny ride is all that's on your mind. But you better do, do the mouth, my friend, or sign it on the dotted line. Part of being a high school teacher means that I'm dealing with students that are getting their first jobs. And it's a very exciting time for many of them. They're, they're earning money or have the potential to earn money for the very first time, real money. And one of the first acts that they need to do is complete a W-4. And nobody sits down and, at work and explains what that is. Hey, check this out. My first bona fide paycheck. Ooh, $320, man. Sweet. Yeah, $320. But that's for two weeks' work. I work 25 hours a week at $8.50 per hour. Gross pay. That's the number of hours you worked times the amount you have paid per hour in the given pay period. You should have earned 425. Yep. Same thing happened to me. It's called taxes. Yeah, well, they took it right out of my paycheck. Look, federal withholding. Withholding is withholding tax. 
also known as income tax. It's how the federal government pays for everything. Roads, the military, and even the space program. F-I-C-A, whatever that is. SS stands for Social Security. It's a tax used to fund a program which provides benefits long from now when you retire, as well as for the disabled and other purposes. MEDI stands for Medicare. It's used to fund the government's Medicare program, which provides subsidized health care and hospital insurance benefits to retirees over the age of 65 and the disabled. Some states may also have a state income tax that's deducted from your paycheck, too. It's not fair, man. Talk and money will break down what your gross pay is, so you'll understand your net pay without grossing you out. Did you know that you're a millionaire? We are too. Everyone our age will most likely work in some kind of job. From now until we're over 65 years old. No way! Boom! That's 100 years from now. Actually, 47 years, dummy. OK, listen up. When we settle in on a career in our 20s, we'll probably make less than later on in our careers, when we're closer to retirement age. Oh my god! Where's the millionaire part? Yes, yeah, show me the math! Oh, yeah! OK, OK, here's the math. At age 20 to age 65 is 45 years. If we average $30,000 a year for 45 years, it comes to, drum roll please, $1,350,000. Okay, then look at what happens if you average forty thousand dollars a year. Or let's shoot for fifty thousand dollars a year. I'm booking my cruise now. That takes a lot of work to make that kind of money. And with all that money comes. Responsibility. Dun dun dun. Oh. Responsibility? Oh, oh, Think about it. We're young now, but when you get to be 65... <laughs> just where did you put all of that hard-earned money? Talking money will help you to prepare Cause what you learn will help your life make you a millionaire We tried to teach our kids the value of a dollar but sometimes I think it goes in one ear and out the other. Being better prepared for what things really cost can make a big difference in your life. I see all these college kids are going into debt up to their eyeballs. That's not for me. Before I sign my name to anything, I'm going to understand exactly where my money's going. Talking Money is the ideal framework to give students this valuable knowledge. It's like learning a whole new language. Like now I feel more comfortable knowing how much I can afford to spend and how important it is to say. A series like Talking Money is invaluable for our students. Getting their attention. If it can be done in a way that entertains them and engages them, uh, then it supports me as a teacher. And a series like this can allow teachers and give teachers tools that they can use in the classroom to motivate students to learn about financial literacy. Using Common Core State Standards, as well as the Jumpstart Coalition for Personal Financial Literacy's National Standards in K-12 Personal Finance Education, Talking Money will not only help students, but adults of all ages when dealing with investing in their financial future. Well, that about sums it up. By George, I think you're right. Hold on, do you hear something? I almost forgot. If you roll your eyes and fall asleep, you'll miss out on your chance. Cause spending more than what you make is just losing in advance. Talking money, let's make our lives easy. Yeehaw! Cause money in the bank from what you earn is better than a money tree. I want to learn how I can protect myself from identity theft. I want to learn how to develop a career goal and a plan to achieve it. I want to know who has a right to know about my social security number. 
I want to understand what's deducted from my paycheck and why. I want to learn if I should participate in an employer-sponsored savings plan. I want to know how to balance a checkbook. I want to learn how to be accountable for my financial future. I want to know about sharing the cost of renting an apartment with a roommate. I want to learn how loans work. I want to know how to do the bank. I want to know about the types of insurance that I might need. I want to learn what a credit card really costs me. I want to understand how they determine my credit score. I want to know if I should buy or rent. I want to learn the risks and rewards for starting my own business. I want to know what compounded interest is all about. I want to learn the importance of a good credit report. Because what you earn throughout your life makes you a millionaire!